see called me yesterday. I told him to shut it off and I'd come by in the morning, which I'm doing now, so. A lot of times these people call you, their AC's not working. Well, they've been running it for a day, two days, it's all iced up. Best to do is have them shut it off and give it some time before you go over there, because a lot of times the system will be iced up and you can't do anything about it anyway. It's always good practice to do that. If they call you like, uh, you know, uh, later on in the day, the day after the day before, you have them shut it off and don't run it for 12, 24 hours is the, be the best way. So you know when you go there, you can start it. It's not going to be iced up. It's a little tech tip. You love working with that. You love working with that. Miss Mal. I know you love working with that. You know, the system, it depends on how old the system is. You know, the system's 18, 18, 19 years old. It's an old R22 system. I mean, if it's got a leak in the evaporator, it's not really worth playing around with it. Best to upgrade the equipment. I have an eyeball. Over 20 years, I guess. Yeah, so let's check the fan and see why it's not coming on. I don't even have a heat then. Huh? If the fan don't work, I don't have a heat, right? Yeah, let's see. Won't have any heat or AC. Really? I mean, let's see what's going on with it here. You can hear it making noise, but it's not firing up. Mm -hmm. Hear it? So let's check that capacitor. See if I spin it by hand it starts. So it's the capacitor's bad. Why well, I told you to shut it off last night. And uh, you know, if not it just sits there cooking away and it's not good for the unit, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes it does. That's why I I, I put it on Monday night because it was so muggy inside, so I mm. took a vent. It worked. But so, sometimes I could change this. If this capacitor is weak or, or bad, sometimes I could change it and it'll, it'll fire up. Let's mm -hmm. check it. It's a 7.5. And, and uh, I put it here all night. So I opened it to outside to see if uh, hot air was coming out or cold air. If we're just running outside, but not in. Yeah, let's we'll see what's going on. What could be? Could be just a weak capacitor if you're lucky. Well, I hope I'm lucky. Seven five. Let's we'll see what we got here. So you did you did run it all night, but not uh, yes, I did. But yes, before I, did. I talked to you, correct? I, I, yes, I did. Yeah. And then I in the morning I shut it off because it, the hot the, the it never took the hot air out. Yeah. So you open line the capacitor is bad. So let's get another capacitor and let's try it. See, open line zero zero zero. So let me get another capacitor and then we'll see if it works, okay? okay. And then, then we could run it and check the charge. That's probably all it is. Okay. Well, check the cord. Make sure everything, oh yeah, yeah, I might as well get rid of it. Fix everything, okay. Did you touch this here?
That day that you turned it on, it was open. Yeah, because I thought it's supposed to open up so you could get the humidity out of here. Out. Seven five. Seven five. That no one's good, so now would you get my number? On the phone book. On the phone book, yeah. Listen, now uh, you are the only one around here. The rest is all the uh, uh, Cold River and uh, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. Uh, ain't that too many that I guess that does that? I no. call plumbers, but nobody, no, no plumber does this. None of them do it. Mm. What are you down south, Darkwood? Ah, uh, not Darkwood. Not Darkwood? Yeah. That'll be nice and tight in there, it'll be good. We'll see if it fires up like that. It should fire up now. Nice and tight in there. Oh, when you say it's, uh, you know. Here we go, there's our fan. The capacitor was bad. And, uh, is that a... I got a fan over there, you know. A what? See that, that thing that goes upside? That's supposed to go out or in no, over there. See on that wall there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's uh, what about it? That's the return. Yeah, what well, is supposed to have open when the thing is on or yeah, it's we'll, shut off? We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at that. Let me get this door on okay. here first. goes the fan and I got it I got it just on fan for now but that's good at least at least we know that now I changed the capacitor mm -hmm. and what that does is that allows the motor to run mm -hmm. it lets voltage in and out of this capacitor mm -hmm. now if the capacitor is not right and it's broken like this one is mm -hmm. the motor won't start mm -hmm. so if you leave it on all night you kind of cook the windings because you got all, yeah. it gets hot, it gets red hot, the motor. Yeah, but I didn't know. So, I don't know how long this motor is going to last. It might last, it might not. Uh -huh. You're taking a chance because I changed the capacitor. Right. Now that's cooled down, it started, but I don't know what kind of damage you did to the motor. Right, right. So, I, I ain't going to say that it's going to last for another five years. It might, it might run for six hours and shut off. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh. Okay. And you can put a new motor in? I can put a new motor in if, if, if it dies, but right. let's let it run because it might be okay. Okay. So you gotta kinda you gotta kinda take a chances here. Alright. Some guys would just say, well we gotta replace the motor. I mean I'd rather just let it ride because I don't have one anyway and I'd have to go get it and it's gonna take some time. Okay. So let's we got. Well, let's let's get it up and running and check the. Go upstairs and turn it on AC now. Okay. And put the fan on automatic because right now I got it on fan on. Put the fan on automatic and then turn it to cooling and turn it down so it runs and we'll check it outside. Okay. He's a shit show. You might have got lucky. He's always, he's always getting lucky, huh? Yeah, he almost died. Capacitor died. Yeah. Here's the Good fan morning. cap. Well, time will tell. Time will tell. It's no good. See how this is coming out cold air? Something's not working. Might have a bad capacitor in here. It's just the fan running. This should be blowing hot air. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It just, it just, uh... 
let me see what's going on with this. Could be the capacitor in here is bad. Too. Yeah, it should be blowing hot air, which it's not. So let's check this one too. Well, I guess Monday night, but I think he agrees. Everybody's calling, right? Mm. A lot of plumbers, they don't work on air conditioning. Because who put this here? I guess it was a plumber, I guess. I don't know. And gels or something like that. I guess company don't want to do anything else with him. Nah, they, they kind of sub everything out now. Yeah, they used to do a lot of tanks here. For gas company. Might have, might, have, might have a mouse in here, you never know. Mouse? You never know. Check the capacitor here. This orange one, so 35.5 is what it is. Get the power off. I'll disconnect this orange one. We should have 35 on that thing. Could it just be a capacitor as bad. Let's hope. There. Well, the capacitor's good. Capacitor's good, so. Um, it could be that we just need a hot stock kit on it to start it up. It's not tripping the breaker, so that's a good sign. Let me get a hot start kit and we'll see if it, if that helps at the start. Okay? You haven't you haven't been you haven't been running it, you said, right? You no. have not been running it's it. It just ran yeah. all uh, Monday uh, Monday night. I ran all day to the morning and then when I wake up it was so hot. You know yeah. the house I checked was so hot. So I came outside and I put my hand like this, and it was cold air. I says, Why don't you shut shut it off inside and I'll check it and see if we'll get open line here. You want me to shut it off? Yeah, shut it off. We're gonna ohm it out and see if we get a. Alright, so it's off there. Check uh, ohms between. Shut it off. We got ohms there. I'm just checking the windings on this thing, see if it's good. We got ohms there. I gave it the furnace was good before. We got ohms there, so let's try a hard start kit. Let's see if that works. The hard start kit. We got ohms on everything. Everything's ohming out, so it's not a broken wire, mm -hmm. right? It's not a broken wire. So, uh, like I said, let me let me try the hard start kit on there, and uh, hopefully that kicks it over, which it probably will. Check this one, see how well this one's working. So. What's that? 151. So that's good. That's a good. That's a good hard start kit. We'll put that on there. Put that on the, the orange and the common.
and that should kick the comp help the compressor to start, but we'll see if it works or not. I'll make sure I get a nice connection on there. This is going to give it a boost, mm -hmm. and uh, it might be just what the doctor ordered. Sometimes you gotta you gotta change things up a little bit, you know. Gotta start taking some flipping Lipitor or something. Get the breaker off, so I'm not gonna get zapped. So that's there. I should be able to leave that just like this. Maybe. Well, up to now, I never had no trouble with it. Yeah, well, up to it. now, right? I mean, it's yeah, like anything now. else. All right, so let's uh, let's put the breaker on. All right, go ahead and turn it on. We'll see if it fires. See if the compressor kicks in. Nope. Maybe. Let's give it a minute. The house inside is not as hot as it was. This is an R22 unit. A little two ton R22 unit. I don't think it kicked in. Give it a minute here. Yeah, I got the thing I've set up. And yeah, that's fine. It's running. Let's give it a minute and see if it starts cooling. You got no refrigerant in the system. Got no refrigerant in the system. Minus four. Wow. Lost you lost all the refrigerant. Good. Yeah, you got a bad leak. Pulling in the vacuum. Not good. See it? Minus four? On the suction, see it, and then it goes to 61 on the suction. Watch when I shut it off, it'll, it'll. Uh... Can you fix the leak? No, not on this, not on this system. Well, I shut it off so you can see that the pressure is going to equalize. We got we got 11 pounds in there. See it? Should be like a hundred and hundred and thirty pounds. Mm -hmm. So the system, the system lost all its refrigerant. What year is it? It's an 07. 07? Yeah. So that's 13. 15 years old. When was it put in? Same, that's what I don't know. Oh, I forget. I know it uh, was in the 80s. I mean, in the 2000 something. Uh, Terrible. This is an American standard. I would I would put a rud system in here. We're going to get this button back up and then we'll. No, a rud system. Is that a good uh, That's a good one. Parts are available. The best system you're gonna get around here. Problem with these, no one has parts for them around here. You gotta order the parts. All 
I mean, the cheapest thing to do is put a window units in. Run window units. That's the cheapest way. But it's not central air. Now listen, I don't want the window. I had one. And all night long, the hummus, and you should fucking drive me crazy when I used to go to work on a fucking head. I mean, it's just, that's worst case scenario, what just happened here, you know? Got a Freon. We got the unit in the, the basement working. The fan, right? Yeah. And then we come out here and the compressor don't seem to be starting until I put my gauges on there and I could I showed it to you. Measurements downstairs, but it's a little two-tonner. We can go up to like, I think 22 is the new coil is gonna be higher. We can go up to 23. 17 wide. Good. There's a door right there. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's a two ton. It's an 04. It's an 04. It's 18 years old. Three quarter, three quarter line set, three eighths. It's an old four. Kind of weird the way he did the transition, but we'll get you a price on a change out. Two guys sitting on TV watching TV and eating potato chips. You're sick of eating. <laughs> You're sick of eating the potato chips. Huh? You're sick of eating the potato chips. No, oh, I can't eat it. That's what get too fat. It's too nothing. Go out. You can the see it. You can see it. it. Popped right off right there. Popped right, right you know off. What I'm saying. Yeah. It's frozen. I yeah. I turn it off on the solar. Uh, this time I uh, was uh, pretty good winter. Well, I got full. Yeah. Well, well you got to shut it off and drain it in the cellar next year. Let's see if That's I can fix I it. Let me see if I can fix it. I might be able to just fix it. I'll cut the goddamn pipe over there. This foam shit. I might be able to fix that for you. Man, of my calibration. Huh? Man, am I calibration? Maybe. Looks like it just popped off. Let's see if I could solder it back up for you. Might not be that big of a deal. A lot better than your air conditioning, I'll tell you that much. Well, that thing was always good. I don't understand why it's just... Yeah. Well, it blew a leak somewhere. Now, is the water just off here at the valve, or it's off in the house? It's off in the house, too. Okay. I, I can go put it on if you Just want. hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let me let this cool and get this back together, and then we'll we'll try it, okay? Mm -hmm. See if it leaks. 
You like being retired? No. You don't like it? Listen, I work all my I used to work 14 hours a day before. Yeah, you're so used to work and then all of a sudden now you retire and you don't yeah, like it. I was, yeah, I uh, was oh, never all my life. Work, 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 eat like a horse. Yeah. I weighed 140 pounds. After I, after I retired, uh, 170 pounds. Somebody's wrong. Wow. Too many cob, too many chips. You said you're eating that them flipping chips. Yeah, well, I eat and just sit down, eat and sit down. So I figured, hey, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a dog. I said, ah, oh, dog, you're gonna get a vet, you're gonna pay vet, you're gonna pay eighteen hundred dollars, something like that for a dog. I said, fuck it, let me get chickens. Oh god, I got chickens. I don't even eat the eggs. First, uh. I give the eggs. Now you gotta, you gotta to make sure in the winter time you gotta drain this out, obviously, right? Or it's gonna freeze like last time. Yeah, I did. All right, go no, this time the water was on. I let the water run because it was a mile, like to me, it was a mild winter. No, it's good. it gets below freezing. You gotta go turn it on inside. Then uh, we'll turn it on. We'll yeah, check it. We'll yeah, see yeah. if it leaks. That's true. has it on yet. There we go. Hey, wake up. It's a wake up. Come on. Alright, don't wake. Back and back and up and running.